Hey guys, my name is Victoria from Creative2, and today I'm going to show you how to do a full width uh, column effect. And as you can see here in front of you, um, this is what I set up. I kind of messed around with things, made it my own thing because um, I actually got inspired by, by this blog post on elegantthings.com. And, you know, I love the split look here. And, and for the longest time, I'm like, how in the heck can I do that? How do I do that? And today I'm going to show you how. So let's go into it again. So I have two columns set up with different background colors. Um, the background can be a color, it can be an image, whatever you want, guys. Um, and then I have columns with no spacing, full width. And then um, he, in here I have two modules. So let me show you um, the back end, I guess. So I'm within the Divi Builder, and this is exactly how I set up, set this up. Okay. So step one, I went in and I said. Um, Excuse me. I went in and I said I want to add a structure of two columns. So I did one half and one half, right? So half and half. And then it gave me two columns and then I added two modules inside of it, which is the text and the button for each um, column. So the heading and the button, right? And then, all right, I went in and I set up the color for each individual column. So I didn't use the background, okay? I used column one background and then column two background. So all I did was I went in here, I gave it a solid color. I went black, check, done. Column two, I wanted it to be purple, so I went in, I went bam, purple, check, done. All right, guys, so that's how you set up the background color, right? And then the second thing, thing I did was, okay, now I want this to be full width, right? So I went into design within the row module settings, okay? Under sizing settings, I went make this full, this row full width. I clicked yes, done. So that gave me the full width look, okay? But now the columns had a space between them, right? So now I'm gonna say, I don't want that space between them. So I went use custom gutter width, yes. And, and then this was actually set to like three. Um, I think that's by default. So I went down to one and it removed the spacing between the columns, okay? So now I had the background color. I set it to full width. I removed the space between the columns, and now I'm going to show you how to position the module, so the heading and the learn more button, um, within the columns. Because when you first set it up, you'll see that these modules are way out here at the end, and we don't want that. We want to position those where you want, right? So again, get creative, do your own thing, but this is how I set them up. Again, you go into the row module settings. I went to design. And then I did not mess with custom margin or custom padding. Again, I went to the actual column one padding and the column two padding. I told it to have, I wanted it to have 150 pixels at the top, 150 at the bottom, okay, um, for both columns. And then I said um, to the left, 45, to the right, 45, right? Save and exit, and voila, guys, this is how I set this row up. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, I know that this is something that I, I was wondering this whole time and I just wanted to share this with you. And this is the first Divi trick that I'm going to, that I'm going to show you, but I'm going to have a lot of Divi trick videos within the next uh, few weeks. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.